Hello my kids. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good job at home. Welcome to today's math class. Today we are going to learn how to show three digit numbers on the abacus. Let's learn. Look at the abacus shown here. Can you see the abacus? Yes. It has three spikes. Can you see this spike? Showing ones, I have to note it once with O. Tens, I have to note it tens with T. And hundreds, I have to note it hundreds with H respectively. Each having some beats. Can you see the beats? Yes. Now let's learn how to read the numbers shown on the abacus. Look here. Here is the Abacus. Now let's learn. So you can see the spikes? Yes. Can you see the beads? Yes. So in the abacus shown here, here are two beads in the one spike. So we will write two in the tens spike. How many beads are here in the tens place? Count one, two, three. Write three. And in the hundred spike, how many beads are here? One, two, Three, four. So we will write four. So the number has four hundreds, three tens, and two ones. Thus, the number shown on the abacus is four hundred thirty-two. I hope now you have understood how to read the number from an abacus. Now it's your turn to solve it. Look here. Can you see the abacus? Look at the one spike. How many beads do you see? Yes. Count. One, two, three. Yes, here are three beads. So we will write three. Okay. Now tell me how many beads are here in tens place? No beads. So, when there is no beads, we will write zero. Now, tell me how many beads are in tens, sorry, hundred spike. Count one, two, three, four, five. So, we will write five. So, the number has five hundred, zero tens and three ones. Thus, the number shown on the abacus is five hundred. Three. Wonderful. Next example. Can you see the abacus? Now tell me. How many beads in one spike? No. No ones here. There are no beads. So we will write zero. Now tell me how many tens. How many beads in ten spike? Yes. Only one. I will write one. In the ten spike. Then how many beads in the hundred spike? Count one, two, three. Right, three. So the number has three hundreds, one tens, and zero ones. Thus the number shown on the abacus is three hundred ten. Now we will learn. How to draw the beads in abacus to represent the given number. Let's learn. Now can you see the abacus? How we, now we will draw beads in the abacus. Now look at the ones place which digit is written. Zero. So we will you draw any beads. No. Then there is zero, no beads. 
Now at the tens place, zero is written. No beads. Now at the hundreds place, which digit is written? Six. How many beads we will draw in the hundreds pile? Yes, six. Let's draw. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Now we have drawn six beads. So the abacus is completed. Next. Now look at the number 104. At one place, which number is written? Four. So how many beads we will draw in one spike? Yes. Four beads. Let's draw. One, two, three, four. At the tens place, how many beads? No beads. Now at tens place, zero is return. Then hundred place, how many beads? One. Draw one bead in hundred spike. So, the number 104. Next example, the number 324. Which digit says return in the one spike? 4. So, we will draw how many beads in the one spike? 4. Let's draw 1, 2, 3, 4. Which digit is written in the 10 spike? 2. So students, how many beads draw in the 10 spike? 2. 1, 2. Then 100 spike. Which digit is written in the 100 spike? 3. So 3 beads shown in the 100 spike. 1, 2, 3. Thank you.